involved particularly? Well, well, effectively what happens is the experienced hands uh, take us new boys and new girls through you know, just the things that we need. So Steve, first of all, have you recovered from Friday morning, that late, late show there? Um, it was a very long day, uh, and uh, we actually worked it out. The count took eight hours from the start to the declaration, and I said to the chief executive, you know, the count's taking uh, a long time, but we completely understand why. And you know, anyone who knows the political history of Winchester, it came down to two votes once, and he said, Steve, we're not going to get this one wrong. So they, uh, they took their time, and obviously for me it was the, the right result in the end. How does it feel to be Winchester's new MP after years of hard work? It, it is utterly, utterly exciting, a completely humbling, completely overwhelming. Every adjective that you can possibly think of. Um, just just great. You know, I worked really hard, as, as Wynne all know, and you guys interviewed me so many times. I worked really hard for three and a half years, uh, many years before that to get selected. And, uh, you know, I, I like to think that in that time I spoke to so many people and so many organisations and tried to, tried to establish some trust with them and tried to establish a, a, a personality locally. And, it, you know, I'm, lo I'm a local boy to Winchester, so it's my home seat, and I was very, very fortunate. Um, but now to be the MP, it's a completely different, it's a complete transition transition from being a candidate to being the MP. Obviously you're no longer a party political appointee, you are the Member of Parliament and I, I represent everyone whether they voted for me or not and people have come to me with problems I and mean, my harshest critic and my biggest supporter will get equal treatment. What do you hope to bring to Winchester? What do you think? I know you mentioned the NHS as a yeah. thing you want to... Well, I think, I think, you know, first and foremost, any MP for Winchester should remember this very clearly, that you are the local constituency MP and that's your job. And as Ronald Reagan used to say, remember who you took to the dance. You know, you should always remember where you come from in politics. And Winchester has given me this chance to be the Member of Parliament and that's my, my priority, which is to be that Member of Parliament and to represent the constituents when they have issues and when they have problems, when they want to just tell their MP something. And we're getting a lot of that at the moment. But, you know, in the few days since I've been elected, we've already had casework come in. We've already had people with severe problems that need the help of their MP. I'm obviously liaising with Mark Oton on the stuff that was outstanding that we didn't want to fall between the cracks. So, you know, the, the aim is to see that normal service is resumed uh, as quickly as possible without any break. Obviously, your new home's Westminster Pine here. What's the first couple of days been like? Uh, well, given the ongoing political situation, a, a baptism of fire is, is not underestimating it. Um, we had our first meeting of the parliamentary party on, on Monday evening, which was, was quite a start to my parliamentary career. And uh, yeah, just, just walking around in there is, is incredible. I've been here many times as a, m a member of staff when I worked with William Haig, and I've been here as a member of the public on tours. But going in as a member is very different. Um, somehow, all the door staff know who you are, and they know your name, which is amazing amazing because there are 650 of us but I tell you how it really feels in the Conservative Party is very very different because around half of the parliamentary party are new they're new MPs um, and I think that I read somewhere that about 250 MPs in that place are brand new members of parliament so you know it's a very very different parliament to the one that left uh, what seems like many many months ago but was only five weeks ago. Thank you Steve that's great for you.